Hello and welcome to Way of the Wyvern number 12. I'm Don Vippo and we are seeing Blaze Blue EU Open Regrown 22. This was actually the first match on stream, me versus Kusanagi Boy. Kusanagi Boy is a new 12 player and also fairly uh, active in the Romanian Blaze Blue community, not only Blaze Blue but fighting in the community as a whole, sometimes organizing stuff like the Hollow Knight, which was another tournament that we can, you can see on this on this channel and um, yeah, so far it's fairly even. The matchup is fairly difficult for Kagura because Mew 12 has the range to contest him at his comfortable ranges but can also zone him out and has strong pressure and those Steinsgate satellites that um, yeah, can make lots of things safe by interrupting and they don't even go away when she's hit. So if they shoot out anything in that point, they just die. And here I I get the reset, but I could have ended it before with just going for C5 near. Uh, Adidaha hitting. I don't know why I didn't hit uh, with my with the 6B there, but yeah. Yeah, I mean they had. They didn't have to burst there, to be honest. I guess I do, would not have picked it up, but they still get me in the combo in the corner. Not really a problem because I get them with my with the two A, or rather I get their roll in with the two A. And so far, it's go looking very good for me. So they are not really getting any pressure and they are not zoning me out uh, enough. So I still get those hits in. In this round actually I remember this I got hit a lot by her overhead, the 6B. So only the second hit is a uh, overhead. So um, actually fairly easy to block in comparison to other overheads. But of course you can do everything after it. That was such a good mash from their side on the 2DA, uh, on the 5DA Hydra but didn't believe and didn't get a full combo out of it. And here I got hit by the Steins while actually doing the right thing, which is annoying. They should go away, but yeah, we can't change that. Huge 5C counter and I go for a simple combo here, just to not drop. Because yeah, <laughs> it wouldn't matter if I get 4.2k there or not. So use the Haka just because I felt myself. Yeah, I dropped the combo. I should have gone for 6C. All in all, I'm uh, blocking a little bit better now. And this, no, this couldn't be it. If even if I had uh, over, I mean only if I had overdrive available, then I could have killed. But I still uh, close out the round this way. Fairly convincingly. I'm a bit sad about it because if I had known that I was so dominant in this match, then I would have picked Bang. Like the legend here, Sir Panda Europe's, one of Europe's greatest, number three on the ELO list for quite some time. And um, yeah, normally a Aurelius player, but he. Apparently picked up Bang, which is something I didn't know about, and uh, yeah, his Bang seems to be the real deal, so way better than my Bang. I'm actually glad that I get the um, Micro Dash confirms with the Beef of Nier now, because if you didn't know, if I use Beef of Nier for the follow-up combo for most characters, I need to include a Micro Dash. And as far as the Bang vs Kagura matchup go, I'd personally say it's slightly in Kagura's favor because yes, as you see, <laughs> uh, Bang has insane pressure, but there are all, all gaps in it and Kagura has among the strongest defense in the game. Of course, he can snipe Wyvern um, just like that with 6C. Uh, with 3C I mean. and. Uh, yeah, he messed up the double super rod apparently, but 
not much of a problem. He's still in a very commanding position to win. Even though, of course, I'm Kagura, so one confirm he could have uh, ended the round. But he got overdrive back and just used it to go to my two uh, through my 2C there. Also, something that I've been noticing in this match particularly, I was using uh, 2C way too close like that and uh, all, doesn't work out often because it's quite unsafe especially if they have overdrive he actually goes for a fairly simple combo fairly simple for bang at the very least here I also made the combo a little bit simpler and lose about 200 damage or so Yeah, he gets his overdrive. But the thing with the bank's Furin Kazan is that uh, he has such big problems to catch Kagura when I jump back and press JC, so it's just jumping and believing I hit him rather than he hits me. Because you don't react, you don't just block a Furin Kazan mix up when the player is competent with bank. And great that um, the, beam, uh, the poison nail ran out, so he got the full 600 damage there. <laughs> Classic Kagura damage, simple combo. And I guess I could have hidden him out of the um, 60 there if I just press B, uh, uh, 5 BB at the right time, so the second hit of that. Yeah, dropped the combo sadly, should have been 3C instead of 2C. But he drops another even more important combo there. He didn't drop here, so he closes out the game, but it was fairly close as you can see. And fairly exciting, I hope at least. Personally, it was fun playing him. And He's, he of course had to stick with the uh, bang here, but I still have our uh, fighting chance. And this is also uh, this was actually such a good mix-up with the double uh, J two B. So his cross-up attack, and here I get the punish on the three C, a mild punish, but. At the very least, didn't believe, didn't get the full combo there, sadly. And I, I went for the simpler route here, as to not drop and leave uh, about 100 to 200 damage in the dust. In this case, doesn't matter that much, but of course, you want to hit the optimals. Yeah, the 2D, uh, yeah, the 2D from him was a bit too greedy. I caught him on the way down with my JC because that move, despite appearing like one, isn't in fact isn't an anti-air, and uh, Bang really doesn't have an anti-air, and he has to make do with, with what he has, which of course is 2D uh, with its guard point and uh, 5A. Still keep it simple, but in this case, I guess it could have mattered using the correct one with the um, op resets and the and the rap with him. But here I still I caught him sleeping, or rather being too passive, and get a victory with a common grab. But of course, this is only one match, and this is the first to two. I mean, first to one would be brutal, to be honest, and I would be, would have been eliminated, not eliminated, but put into the losers bracket again. 
And this is why Kagura is so strong, this is B uh, Fafnir just sniping him out of the air. But I have to actually work with um, getting better confirms because I always go for the uh, unconditional one. But I know depending on the screen uh, position I can get more rewarding ones that kind of use this structure and I, but I drop there again. Which actually might have been crucial. A nice counter hit, but yeah. Yeah, he got me and I instantly bursted. Probably not the best idea because he got burst and active flow. And one thing that I've noticed during the gameplay is that here in this final round he played a lot more um, reserved and patiently and defensive. So he were he was he was trying to bait me in and often did so. So in this case I got baited, got in and uh, he was able to punish me for it. And I really need to learn how to better apply pressure without relying on the C buttons too much. And drive, of course. Yeah, that was a big uh, 6C hit, but not the biggest confirm for it. I mean, 4K damage isn't bad, but it's not great either for what Kagura can do. Yeah, and here sadly not enough time to get the beef of me out before he could attack me. That was a misinput Kadamos, but yeah, he punished accordingly. Um. No, this is not death, okay. But this is that, and uh, this match actually was a, let, a lot less close than I thought <laughs> that I had in my mind. And I'm more or less directly um, recording this after the tournament, so at least on the same day. And yeah, that, uh, that tells you how weak your memory can be. But yeah, last match. Okay, now I spoiled, but hey, uh, you probably guessed from the length here. It's against Ice Sinito Isol, a strong Jin player. I guess the second strongest in Europe, at least the one that is uh, that are ranked as or that are listed as Jin players. Because of course, a character like Jin can be is often a pocket character for lots of players. And yeah, he's completely. Uh, demolishing me here. It it be like that sometimes. He just gets me with safe stagger pressure. I was able to uh, get out of the corner but only because he um, messed up his timing. And it doesn't amount to much. He caught my back roll with 3C. So essentially he knew exactly what I wanted to do at pretty much any time. But I even though I got molded like this, I still thought I could do it. So I stuck with the Kagura. So I'm very sorry for everyone wanting to see other characters in Kagura because I haven't shown them in a while right now. But I've been practicing my bang especially. And uh, yeah, maybe at some point they can be good counter picks in situations like this. Or character switches at least, I don't think that Bang particularly counters Jin. But in this matchup I definitely needed a, this player matchup probably, I needed a, pa a change of pace. Because he exactly knew what I was doing and he noticed, okay, 
uh, Don Vippo is playing kind of passive, so he threw in more and more grabs as well, and I didn't check those, so... And here he hit, hit my C Fafnir with 2D. And matches like these are really difficult because you see yourself getting murdered, but it's hard to tell what to make, what to do different. Like, yeah, don't get murdered. Okay, takes a grab. <laughs> but how are you going to formulate a plan to improve upon? Is this okay? This was actually great realization. Punishing with my biggest starter, but that was about everything. Good to say about my match here and yeah that was my run of blaze blue eu open regrown 22 i hope you enjoyed the show make sure to join the weeklies also join salty eu tournaments as well as the blaze new weeklies on hard edge both beginner pen and a big boy weeklies leave a comment like and subscribe have a nice day bye bye